Ever since APC presidential aspirant Mr. Bola Metinubu formally informed President Muhammadu Buhari of his political ambition, many Nigerians started to question his recent use of billion vans as a politician. What many people failed to understand is that any private citizen is entitled to use a bullion van for financial security. The constitution does not restrict the use of such sophisticated vehicles to banks only. The bullion vans are likely any other vehicles except that they provide bulletproof protection, security and efficiency for conveying a huge amount of money or other financial materials. Politicians can decide to use any means appropriate to prove to move money without using the bullion vans. Banks are recommended to use it for security purposes, but due to political reasons, some people are making unjustifiable claims and speculations regarding the use of bullion vans, despite that they are aware of the fact that the constitution permits private citizens to use the vehicle when the need arises. Hmm. We have never heard this one before. Since that time, when this whole thing has been talked about, well, people have been going back and forth. I have never seen a lawyer saying this, so I don't know where this one is getting this one from. And they have not come out to defend it. And the man will not tell us that, oh, I have the right to do that. He said, it is my money. Just like that. The man will not defend himself. That It is my money. I can do whatever I like with it. And you see the way they want to change it. And it is, don't be surprised that before you know it, they will, might go and insert something like this inside the constitution. They will say the constitution says so. Where politicians have started making preparations and, uh, and consultations ahead of the forthcoming general elections, it is important for people to verify the source of information and its genuineness before sharing it across social media platforms. The use of bullion vans is not restricted to a particular individual. Like seriously, where is this man? This writer, where is this one coming from? All this why? So you just woke up from your slumber since 2019. So people are just saying what they don't understand. Well, hey, Nigeria, eh? The more you look, the less you see. <laughs> they will see evil and call it good. Hmm. Who is talking about the constitution here? Nigerians are concerned as how he made the money to the extent he uses bullion van and what he used the money for on the election day. Was it not to rig election and he is coming out to be president and election rigger? It is everything is all encompassing. Everything all encompassing. Whether he made his money or how <laughs> my goodness. Evil. Evil, evil, evil. Sometimes I wonder how people will leave substance and concentrate on shaft. How is Bullion Van seen entering Tinubu's house on the eve of election? Anybody, anybody's business? Like seriously? <laughs> that is why they will never take us serious for in this country. Uh? <laughs> if you are rich enough to require the service of a Bullion Van, the services will be extended to you. How many times have you seen the super rich in the bank? Bullion vans are regularly deployed to their houses and offices each time they need to move plenty sums of money. People with little minds will continue to discuss pediatric issues like this. Tinubu is trending seriously because he is the most important and powerful politician in today's Nigeria. He had it all planned out and is diligently executing plan. He is busy consulting and consolidating while others are talking uh, busy and talking and doing nothing. Let it not come as a surprise to anyone. Tinubu emerges as the president of Nigeria. The entire Southwest is virtually a gog for Tinubu. Hmm. It was election day that they saw the bullion van. Hmm. Well, how were you sure that money was in that vehicle? When Tinubu himself, how can you imagine some people are so, so, so... This country, eh, with this kind of people we have in this country... If we like, let us pray for not eternity. Nothing will happen. When the man himself came out and said, it is my money, he never denied it. So I don't know what these people are saying. <laughs> Can you imagine? You can't dictate to someone how to carry his money. Go and make your own money and use wheelbarrow to carry it. <laughs> Best of the same feather, APC Association of Political Corruption. Gaba Aliu, you see your mentality. What is what? That is what is destroying Nigeria. You know Sinubu did wrong. He did wrong thing. But because of your selfish interest, you are supporting and denying it. 
How can this country be good? Sinubu has health challenges just as PMB and is also has financial crime cases hovering around him from home to US. I pity this country. More importantly, the people who do not know they are left from their rights. I don't understand what you mean by financial security. And let me ask you, do you think you are talking to fools? I don't know whether they are talking to fools like you. Mr. Writer, do any cover up you like your story is for fools. This is your story for fools. <laughs> Not a people who reason very well. This is what is called the normalization of deviance. However, we try to justify an aberration in a vulnerable society displaying bullion van in the middle of election. They tells a lot about intentions, covalty or overalty. They will not reason well because they Talks and agueros like them. Mm, the writer is actually very, very unwise. They have started writing rubbish just because he has given us brown envelope of 500 naira. Why didn't you write this when the issue of bullion van came out first? I'm sure by now you know where you would have been. Exactly. All this where people have been arguing this thing back and forth. <laughs> we didn't hear this kind of a thing, whether it is written in constitution or whatever. Lawyers have talked many, many things about this and nobody has said anything. Now, they want to change the narratives. They want to just say the narratives so that people begin to take it to say, ah, it is true. Somebody is a lie. Is a lie. Let them continue. It is their turn. Some people are warming up now, like I've been saying, that in as much we will continue to have who are going, those who are going to be supporting any government of the day. Forget it. Nigeria is going nowhere. We are going nowhere. <laughs> Oh my goodness, let us talk about the bullion vans that were seen in Sinubu's house. Is the money not Nigeria's money carried by a Nigerian for Nigerians? This is why we don't grow in Nigeria. Lies everywhere. People will see the truth. They try to paint it, but we are watching. The bullion vans drivers only came to distribute voting materials and to distribute bags of rice for the needy. So it is bullion that they use in doing that. When the man said, it is my money, he, con he, he, he confirmed that it's, it's his money. <laughs> hmm, someone said, mark my words, Sinubu will never be Nigeria president. Anything can happen, no? forget them. Hmm. Anything can happen. Yoruba youth are lazy. They are beggars. Free things have been, been live. They cannot see anything wrong. They, that is why they all they are all agbiru in every corner and streets of Lagos, even in someone's doorsteps.